Birds at 8 miles high, 7.46, Monday morning. And now, the alternative thought of the day. Hi, my name's Ed Beddington. I'm the editor of Meat Trades Journal, and this is my alternative thought for the day. I don't know about you, but I find the fact that around 20% of consumers think pigs can fly rather frightening. Leaving aside the horrifying idea of cleaning your car following bombardment by an airborne porker, the fact that two out of ten consumers think wing of pig is a genuine cut of meat shows how out of touch we're becoming with our food. The fact was revealed in a survey carried out by Meat Trays Journal, support National Butchers Week, and for anyone who enjoys a good steak, the results offer some chilling reading. Tofu ribs are not meat, folks, and there's no such thing as leg of liver or a chicken chop. We hear numerous appeals for us to cut back on meat, particularly that traditional breakfast staple, bacon, with vegetarians constantly calling for a ban on the fry-up in favour of some form of edible torture, such as muesli. Mama Cass may have met her match with a ham sandwich, but you can be sure that Captain Beefheart would have enjoyed much success under the title Corporal Meat Substitute. Breakfast, as we're constantly reminded, is the most important meal of the day. And what better way to start things than with a healthy portion of meat? from flying pigs or their more traditional ground-based cousins. That constant background of anti-meat invective is one of many things which is disconnecting consumers with food. Fortunately, there's salvation at hand in the form of your local high street butcher. What he doesn't know about meat could be written on one of those mythical pig wings. But do we take advantage of this expert knowledge and service? Not nearly enough, I'd argue, and that needs to change. We need to stop blindly picking up gas-flushed packs of mints during the weekly shop, stop churning out the same old tired, stale repertoire for tea, and start getting back in touch with some of the wonderful, tasty and unusual cuts of meat available in your local butcher. Butchers are craftsmen with long years of highly developed training. They offer a service that is second to none, and that is what National Butchers Week is all about. We're urging people to get back into the high street and ask the expert when it comes to meat. Brilliant. Uh, I, I'm a regular user of my local butcher. It's much better because you can go down there and you can, you know, get whatever cut of meat you want, cut the way you want it. Indeed. Skin on, skin off, bones on, bones off. I find it shocking that two out of ten people identified wing of pork as a genuine cut of meat. It is quite frightening, isn't it? Well, good luck with National Butchers Week, which is this entire week. Does that mean that we're going to have loads of offers at our local butchers? Yeah, hopefully so, yes, yes. And certainly a lot of butchers are doing things up and down the country, from sort of steak and wine tasting through to um, sort of pick and mix offers and all sorts. It's, uh, it should be good fun. Pick and mix butchers. That would mm. be amazing. Ed, thank you very much. <laughs>